Do you ever feel that you are trapped by food voices in your head? I want to share with you today a important principle found in Eastern martial arts, yoga, and the Tao Te Ching. And in a nutshell, that principle is absorbing the energy and reconverting that energy out. You could say this is going with the flow. When the fighter punches, going with the flow is you kind of absorb that punch and then you bring it back. To do this, you need to have a journal. You need to be pretty aware and pretty calm because the first requirement is that you write down the thought that you are having about food. If you are able to articulate a thought, you write it down. Let's say the thought is something like, hey, you should go get some ice cream to feel better. There are many different thoughts you can have. This is just one I'm pulling out of the top of my head. But you get one of those thoughts that you're thinking about food and you put it onto paper. And then you talk with it. This sounds like crazy, right? You talk with it. But the key is to not get in an argument with the internal voice. You want to go with the flow of the voice. If you start arguing with that voice, well, then, it, so I'll give an example of, of that in a sec. But if you start arguing with that voice, the voice is just going to fight. It's going to get into re rebel mode. You're going to say, you know, well, voice, um, like, I already had ice cream earlier, so I can't have any now. And the voice is going to say, well, I don't, you better have ice cream to feel better. And you get into this internal conflict with yourself. And it just keeps on escalating. And then you're trapped. You can't stop thinking about food. But right there, there's that pattern of escalation. And so we need, at a very fundamental, very deep psychological level, you need to Go with the flow of those voices. Those voices have energy. You need to absorb that energy and learn to, to, to convert that energy, to convert those voices into a different form of energy, a healing energy. Usually this means being very grounded, calm, quiet with the voice that's speaking to you. That voice that says, Go off ice cream, you're feeling bad. It's time for you to feel better. You just want to hear that energy, whether it's a coaxing voice, whether it's an angry voice or a rushed voice. You just want to let that energy impact you. Keep your breath calm. And then try to gently respond. You can literally write out your response. How do you speak kindly and patiently to that voice without yelling or escalating in any way? I would say something like, hey, I hear you. I hear that you want me to have ice cream so that I feel better. I'm going to pass right now. Do you see how this tone of voice that I'm responding in, quiet, relatively patient, etc., how this is going to not lead to an internal escalation? If on the other hand, you said something like, no, I'm not going to have any more ice cream today. This is, this is subtle. And again, this is an advanced journaling technique. This is why it's advanced. These are subtle things. But developing this internal stance where you are going with your internal dialogue, you're, you're dancing with your internal dialogue, it's, it's tough. Um, but this is how you work with the voices. You're calm with them. You're curious. You're soft with them. And if you can work with the voices, you're not going to go in this escalation mode where you feel trapped and ultimately binge. This is a primal technique on how to stop binge eating. Um, 